to yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side, and we murder people. <laughs> <laughs> thought we had a little fun with you guys here because that's all the fun that we had watching the movie that we review or that we're going to review for you today yes major disappointment sorry to tell you <laughs> we're going to be reviewing the movie halloween 2018 this is actually the 11th version of this movie really it, yes it's the 11th it's 11 of these and this is the fifth time that the movie has been rebooted but what i didn't know charlie um this actually was the very first well, it's the first slasher movie that made slasher movies popular. When I watched it, I was like, oh man, this is just a ripoff of Friday the 13th. Yeah. It's actually the other way around. That this movie, the original movie, came out in 1978. And Jason, I don't know when Friday the 13th came out, but they were actually trying to duplicate those same type of things. So, Freddy, all those guys basically came from this movie. All right? So let's go ahead and get into talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, we introduce ourselves. Of course, I'm Rashad. Um, the owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, where we give you uh, music and instruments and marching band. Ooh, I can't even talk. Can't talk. I practice all my old, all the other stuff. Dude, I don't know the how great a movie it was. Right, exactly. Owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, the company that provides you with music and instruments uh, to marching bands all across the nation. And who are you, sir? It's Chuck Taylor here, um, part owner of uh, KFH Party Easy. We do all types of parties, so book us for your next event. Definitely check us out like, um, on Facebook at KFH Party Easy. Um, but yeah, you know I'm ready to, to jump into to this review. We got some other topics we're going to jump into out as well because we must have other topics after talking about Halloween. Um, so if you're looking to see it, or you did see it, maybe you guys can chime in and let us know what you thought about it. Maybe you know you agree, or maybe you thought it was awesome. We'll we'll see. Let's get it in. Let's get on. All right, I'm over here talking to our brand new production assistant over here. I told her that I would uh, give her a shout out if she did a good job. So, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Monica Taylor over here, uh, Charlie's uh, oldest, my goddaughter. Very proud of her. She's gonna come so, over here. Get off the camera. Get off. Get away from the camera. The way. <laughs> oh, my lord, this is the last one. <laughs> anyway, let's go. So, Charlie, seven minutes, sir. Sir. No, I don't need seven. I'll just play it. Um, let's go. So, Halloween. Um, I thought, I'm just, I guess I'm going to throw some positives first. I thought it looked good. Um, the quality of the, of the movie, it wasn't cheesy. Um, it definitely kept, you know, like, you know, yeah, it definitely could be like a serial killer out mm -hmm. there walking around during Halloween doing some horrible things. But, I, I guess the main thing with me okay. was that it just wasn't scary. I wasn't scared. Um, it was kind of, uh, you know, you kind of see things coming the whole time. It's like, okay, we know he's going to get out. <laughs> he Even though, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> we know he's going to get out of prison. I don't know why he's not dead, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. To me, I don't really watch a lot of these type of horror movies because I don't really find them very scary. But we, we were going to do a review, so I gave this one a chance. Um... You the but, one that wanted to do it, dude, weren't you? Well, I I wanted to, you know, Halloween spirit, you know, uh, trying to, you know, you know Halloween's on Wednesday. Um, so we, we try to, you know, make the show, kind of theme it out with, you know, something to, to do with Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the the movie, it, it starts off okay. Um, it kind of draws you in because I, I thought it was going to kind of, I guess, give us a little more of a story. Um, I thought I thought I was like okay maybe some type of mystery we need to see like is he the real Michael Myers or if it's maybe the mask that's really doing the, all the evil stuff and like trying to find like some type of you know I guess some plot that would you know make us kind of a juicy plot so to you, get us involved you said you into were searching the story. for plot yeah I was thinking like okay well maybe that since they're rebooting it again it's gonna be like you know like some of the other uh, horror movies that come out now they kind of get you. In like wanting to see was kind of like a mystery, like a murder mystery type of thing right. almost. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was gonna be something similar to that, but it was kind of same old, same old. You know, mm -hmm. he gets out, he you know takes some people out. He has, I guess, he has superhuman strength or something because mm -hmm. he's normally like just picking dudes up and girls up and just killing them. And I'm sorry to say these people really. If this is, I, I got something to say. How, how do I say this? It wasn't a lot of us in this movie. And the time that we did see us, we got away. Right. So, <laughs> I don't think any of us died. Well, none of us died. Like Even the little, the little boy. The there's a little boy on here. He's like 10. 
And he knew exactly what to do when he saw Jason. I mean, uh, not Jason. Michael Myers. Run. And don't go save nobody. Just run and get away from him. That's all he did. He just left. He just ran <laughs> and told the other dude, don't you go out there. He going to kill you. And the other dude, what did he say? I'm going to go out there and go try to save my girl. And, of course, he gets messed up, too. So, you know, it's... It just, I was hoping it was going to be scary. Um, I mean, after I, we watched it and st- I seen it, that, I was like, oh, wow, that was, that was pretty pretty good. Like, that mm-hmm. had me jumping. Yeah, it was it scary. Was it had mm-hmm. a whole lot of twists in it. It's a remake as well, right. you know, of an uh, older movie. But this one, I don't know, it just didn't have a lot a lot into it. It looks like they could have done more with it, um, but it just seemed like the same old, same old. He just walked around town killing people. Mm-hmm. He didn't jog. He just walks around really just... Like walking you down as you sprint, <laughs> and of course you know you slip on something and you stand there, ah, and you look for the dude to come kill you. Don't stab me! Like why don't you think he's going to kill you? Just worry about getting up. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of that in this in this movie. <laughs> so, you know it's, I'm not, it's not my cup of tea when it comes to scare. I was I I, I was hoping it was like going like, oh it's just gonna worry like mm-hmm. you know, get get me going, but now it's like nah. I kind of want to just on the phone or do something totally different because yep, this is do. not this is not going to be scary at all so <laughs> I think that's about all I got on it good stuff it's, You what, is it, what about you, you you better shout out your wife when you get oh out my baby you. I love you boo thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching us and let's borrow Monica to help us with the show and, and what's happening dad y'all did a great job with the uh, voice piece anniversary today Mr. Rogers. this is the first time ever that Charlie has gone under time under time <laughs> Can't believe it. Can't Under time, believe it. I still got three minutes to spare. I'm saying this is crazy. We're gonna have the Basically. shortest show ever. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so the only thing I liked about this movie happened in the last four minutes. You know, uh, first of all, when Jamie Lee Curtis got thrown out the window, right, as the grandmother, Lori, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> Michael Myers, he looked, he, he looked away. That, 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 that part was funny. That was for she was gone. Boy, was that like, was hilarious. This is what they. <laughs> This is how they feel? I understand them. Right. I feel fear. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that whole, the, the whole ending of the movie, you know, spoilers for everybody who, who's watching here, but yeah, that happens. And then um, uh, Michael was trying to get downstairs where the rest of them were. And this is, this is probably my favorite part of the movie. Well, the girl, the daughter is holding the shotgun and she's like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I'm like, come oh, on! I was man. like, I was like, what you why? You can't why can't do you it? shoot right. the person that's killing people? Exactly. You just killed your husband outside, right. which was an idiot move. Why you go outside? And then anyway. Mike was like, "Oh, you can't do it." A <laughs> boo! <laughs> He's like, "Gotcha!" Yeah, gotcha. Like, oh, that was dope. Yeah, yeah they got he just him. shot. He just, he just shot dude in the face. Yeah, and yeah. then the grandma came out. It's like Happy Halloween, Michael. And started stabbing him, <laughs> stabbing him, and like, then the daughter stabbed him, <laughs> and then he got caught in the trap, and then <laughs> they pinned him. His in there. his look as he was stuck down in the basement. He was like, <laughs> so like, damn, I let these damn women trap right, me right. up in this damn basement, straight home alone. If I don't kill everybody in the town. Mm. He just he literally just runs into people's houses, just chopping them up. Like like he's going trick or treat. He's just like, oh, let me just run in here. Right. She just cooking some dinner. Let me hit yeah. her with a hammer. All mm-hmm. the baby crying. Then we just walk on out to the next mm-hmm. house. So yeah, he he does a couple killings. He doesn't even plan to kill people. No, today. he's, he's like, like, oh, somebody's open. That door's open. <laughs> <laughs> but look, they trapped him and then they blew up the house. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they were not playing with this, this At man. At first, I, when, that, when that happened, I thought that they were going like, to sit there and watch. I was like, that's a lot of gas, guys. Y'all might want to be get out the yeah, door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the house is uh, about to explode. I mean, like, yeah. I was just like, watch him, old boy. <laughs> but that was the only thing that was good about it. I mean, other than that, the movie was boring to me. I, I can't tell you that you watch it. Maybe if you're a horror fan, maybe you'll want to watch this. But for me, it's like the first 30 minutes, nothing happened. I know because I was watching the black market version and you can see. See, the time is ticking away. And it's like 30 minutes. I'm like, it's just 30 minutes? The movie is only an hour and 44 minutes long. Yeah. And 30 minutes, nothing has happened. Nothing. Um, and people did dumb things. Like, like okay, you have the two YouTube reporters, right? So the girl goes into the bathroom, right? And then Michael's trying to get her. She calls for help. The other dude comes in. He's trying to save her life, right? She, she grabs, grabs the, a, a crowbar. And then bro, he's getting beat, beat up across the wall. And she's in the bathroom with the crowbar. Run. Like, oh. like he's going to kill you next. Right. Just help, you, help him. You help, help him. Help boy. You call for help. And then you're going to sit there and let him die. For, Listen, for you. If you're not going to at least help him. 
If you're not gonna help him, at least run out the bathroom right. while he's getting killed. Right. Like, at least make his sacrifice worth something. <laughs> Don't sit in the bathroom, wait till he get done destroying the old dude. With the crowbar. With the crowbar. And then you're going, oh, get choked out. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that didn't make no sense. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lori, the grandmother, she seemed ill-prepared for some of the, the close-up fights. Like, she had all this preparation. Her house was set up and stuff. But, like, when he came out the window and just grabbed her, she wasn't ready. Like, where's your knife? You where's your like, handgun? Uh, yeah. I'm like, no, why do you got the bazooka all the time? Like, just get a hand. At least be packing. Exactly. Like, she should have had some. I mean, she was finally able to <laughs> get the shotgun and finally shoot him. But other than that, she she was she wasn't as prepared as I thought. Um, this is my first Halloween movie that I've seen, so I did a lot of research because I wanted to know what was going on. And by research, that always means watching videos on YouTube. <laughs> and the more I learned about it, the more I was disappointed in this. So this movie is a sequel to the first Halloween, which came out in 1978, okay? Yeah. So it's a reboot. So everything that happened between the first movie and now, it didn't happen. Okay, well, here's the thing that bothers me about that. The second movie, Halloween 2, introduced the fact that Michael and the grandma, Lori, were brother and sister. So, Michael Myers gets his start because he actually killed his, his other sister when he was like eight years old. Okay, mm -hmm. So, he finds out that he has another sister, and that's why he's trying to kill Lori. Okay? But if you wipe all that away, all it is is a guy that was trying to kill a certain lady 40 years ago. He didn't kill her. He's in prison. She's thinking he's coming back. 40 years later, yeah. he goes back to kill this woman that he doesn't have a reason to kill. Why? Yeah. I mean, if they had, if this had been a sequel to number two, it would have made a lot more sense. Because again, in, number two also introduced the fact that he was like... Um, um, like in, like nothing could stop him, kind of like mm -hmm. Jason. Like okay? Jason. So, but that he, makes if, if you get rid of that, he's just a guy. He's just a guy with a mask. Right, exactly. And we saw him get hit by a car and get like knocked out. Like he just chilling. Like mm -hmm. if like it would have been the end of the movie mm -hmm. if the doctor won't ride him with the sheriff. Like, <laughs> right. like he ran him, hit him with the car, and he was about to go end the man. Uh -huh. But the doctor, you know, you know, well, you'll. Well, that's a spoiler. He, he makes some decisions there that that, <laughs> that saves uh well old Michael Myers mm -hmm. and allows him to make it to the end of the film. So, and then he gets his head smashed. Anything else I want to say about this movie? I I just I'm just done. I, I don't I don't need to see a sequel. Maybe perhaps some people liked it. I saw it got a high score. I don't know how it got a high Rotten Tomatoes score. Like, I guess because it just wasn't corny, corny. Like a lot of those movies, like they're just like they don't make like the. The gore is crappy looking, mm -hmm. and the story is just pointless. Mm -hmm. And it's just some having to get teens having a bonfire party and getting killed by mm -hmm. somebody. So since it wasn't like that, I guess they're like, oh, it's, it's an okay movie. Right. We'll give it 84. What, one thing I found out about the original Halloween is that critics liked it because it, it was different than all the movies that came after that, like yeah. Jason and all those guys, because it was a lot more gore and just slashing people up. So this movie was like, Thoughtful, you know, but I'm not feeling. I'm not really thoughtful. It's just, murdered. <laughs> yeah, it's like I need some type of suspense. Like the quiet place is more, yeah, more suspense than that. Mm -hmm. It's like if I'm in a dark house. First of all, oh, this is something I should have said on the movie. <laughs> she had those lights on, right? Remember yeah. when she turned the lights okay. on? Okay. She turned the lights on, and all the lights on the outside of the house, the whole woods are all light lit up. But in the house, it's pitch black. Why don't you turn on the lights in the house? It doesn't make any sense. So you could see Michael Myers when you're trying to you know, save your daughter. That, that some of those parts in the in the yeah. movie, you you understand? They just don't make very much sense. So <clears throat> you know, I just definitely, I don't, I don't, I don't feel the Halloween vibe. Um, <clears throat> if they're gonna remake something to me, I think they need to be unique with it and just make something that we ever we're not expecting. Make him run after people. That would be scary. <laughs> him running after somebody just takes the adrenaline all the way up. Like, oh wow, he's trying to get her. Like trying to get, like something's chasing you. Mm -hmm. You get scared automatically when that happens. Mm -hmm. Put all the music in there. Now we get some. <laughs> well, I mean, to his credit, in the first one and maybe not any others, Michael Myers is the only one to actually drive a car. <laughs> oh, like Jason never drove a car after no, you. So. He just, he 
he didn't. He definitely wasn't driving no cars in this one. But before the show started, we'll get to the next topic. Before the show started, we were talking about like, like if he's chasing after one of us, you know. Yes. And like you, you like you juke him. He's like, oh wait what? a second. He, oh, oh, oh you, you can't, can't, you can't you get, can't, you can't keep up, you can't keep you up, can't you keep turn. Call, you call it all your friends. Hey, don't like, check this out. Yeah. Throw some at him. Right. <laughs> Like push him. Him. He, yeah. oh, we're pushing him stuff like everybody just beating him up right exactly break his ankles like, break his ankles oh he got, oh. A, he got a butcher knife everybody get a butcher knife right <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into our second topic so uh let me see our second topic is the fact um that so we know about wonder woman 1984 that was supposed to be coming out next year 2019 that's been pushed to 2020 they got scurred. and one yeah, scurred. one of the reasons for that is um, the rumor is that it may be the uh, reboot of the DCEU, which and they they called it like Wonder Woman Flashpoint. That's not the official name, but that's kind really? of that's just the idea they were thinking. I was like, mm, no about that. But then the more I thought about it, it's like that's not a bad idea. Like what they were saying is that um, you know Steve Trevor mm-hmm. dies in the first one, right? Yes. Or uh, Steve I Rogers. Know, I know who's coming. <laughs> I saw him on. The set photos. Mm-hmm. So, uh, flashbacks? Right. So, well, they're thinking he's going to, maybe it's a flashback, or maybe uh, he comes back and he's potentially going to die again, and Wonder Woman's not going to mm-hmm. let that happen. It would make sense if it were a flashback. If, he went, if she went back to her original movie. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it sounds like she's going to stop that from happening, and because she stopped that from happening, it's Flashpoint. So, if you don't know the story of Flashpoint, Flashpoint is a great story. Awesome. Uh, best, it's a great best animated comic book comic and a great movies. animated movie, yes. yes and what happens is the whole character, of the of DC character, the Flash, he got his start because his mother was killed. Okay, so what they did, what he did was he decided, I've had enough, and he went back in time and saved his mother from dying. Mm -hmm. But because he did that, the ripple effects changed everything. Like, Superman um, never landed in uh, Smallville. He landed in some government facility, and he never saw the sun. Um, Wonder Woman was a, Wonder Woman and Aquaman were at war with each other. It was just so many of, oh, um... Bruce Wayne died, and his father Thomas Wayne became um, Batman. Batman. His mom Martha Wayne, Martha, yeah. she became the Joker. Like it was amazing. So what they're doing is they're using that type of concept that if you go back in time and try to change stuff, you're not gonna make it worse. I kind of so, like that. So that's how Michael B. Jordan be Superman. That's how Michael Jordan be Superman. Michael, Michael Jordan. Well, I think it's Michael B. Not MJ. Not fatal. Perhaps it. You think he might double up? He might double up on us, right? Oh, this real quick. Michael Jordan uh, why was the movie moved back another year? We don't know why it was moved back officially. We think because Marvel has a lot of their big shows coming out um, next year with um, uh, Infinity War, or the, you know, the second part, and also uh, Captain Marvel is going to be joining, going to be before that. So I don't know. Maybe they're scared that Captain Marvel is going to do so good. Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, we don't want to bring Wonder Woman right after that. And it don't do as well. And then everyone's mm-hmm. like, oh, we don't want to see Wonder Woman. We like Captain Marvel now. Mm-hmm. You know, so maybe, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a bunch of BS and they just want to work on some more of the movie. Who knows? As I understand it, it's potentially because of all the reshoots. That somebody got the bright idea that what we need to do is just scrap the whole DCEU. And Wonder Woman is a great opportunity to do that. That's what the room is. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see exactly no, DC happens, is, but, um, they just make up as they go. <laughs> Wouldn't be that bad an idea to do it, though, so. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm wondering how they would do this. Like, are they going to have Flash in her movie? Or, like, how would they actually change that? Like, I mean, I don't really know too many times that one woman goes back in time to have any type of, you know, change. Well, if you look at Greek mythology, so, okay, you got Zeus, right? That's uh-huh. her dad, okay? Zeus's father was uh, Kronos, and Kronos is the god of time. Let me see here. It was Saturn. Yeah, Kronos okay. is the god of time. So they can introduce that. Okay. In order I to guess they have him come in and change, change time. Some things. Right, exactly. So. That's, that's going to be interesting. So I wonder. Did, and they moved the Flash movie back, too. I, I thought they. Yeah, they, well, they, it they was moved cool. that movie so he can work on his run. <laughs> Like he's skiing or something. Yeah, his run is horrible. It's <laughs> like just run, man. You don't know how to run. How are you gonna pay you millions of dollars? You don't know how to run. He flash. I mean, no sense. But uh, yeah. So I, and then they got the Suicide Squad thing going on now. So I'm, it's it's confusing over there. Like yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are doing. 
I guess this didn't happen. So that's not going to happen anymore. I don't know. We're just going to forget about this, Batman. So we're going to use that as a transition to talk about who's doing it right. Who's doing it right. So let's talk about Marvel. (laughs) The cool people. So Charlie wanted to bring up the topic. The last one was my topic, so he's going to say that was a whack topic, Rashad. Uh, And bringing his great topic. No, no, no. What's happening with uh, Marvel? What What do we predict will be happening with season four for Marvel? Phase four, you gotta get it right. <laughs> right sorry, phase the phases. four. You know they brought in the phases with their with their things. But yeah, it's like we we know we have an endpoint from you know with the new the last part of Infinity War, um, and we know we get Spider Man Homecoming. But what are they going to do? Because we got a lot of people that's going to be leaving Marvel. We have you know. We know Cap is not going to be in any future Marvel movies so far. And we'll see if who else dies or doesn't get renewed. But um, we know uh, Drax ain't coming back. You know what he's been saying. So he's probably getting knocked off of this movie. But what directions are we going to see in the next phase of, of Marvel? Um, so, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm kind of looking at the main characters that they want to bring in Marvel. I know Black Panther has been... Probably it's probably gonna be one of their pillars. Uh, we'll see how Captain uh, Marvel does. If that does really well, I'm pretty sure they want to use her to kind of take some of that Captain America role. I've been talking to a lot of people online about who's going to replace Cap because a lot. Of, I know um, the actor that plays Cap, um, Steve Rogers. Steve, <laughs> Steve Rogers. <Ryan. laughs> Chris Evans. He said that uh, no, it wasn't Chris Evans. It was uh, Cap plays Winter Soldier. What's his name? Oh, Bucky's uh, uh, Stan Sebastian. Sebastian yeah. Stan. Sebastian, Sebastian said that the next uh, Captain America could be, you know, African American. It's probably gonna be African. Who said that? that was, was it him? No, it was a dude who plays Crossbones. That's who it was. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Whoever he is. Yeah, that guy. He said he could say whatever he wants because he's not gonna be in no more movies. So, <laughs> so he don't really care. He said he don't watch. He don't even watch the movies. He just be in them. So wow, well, well. sense. But I just wanted to see. I mean, they were talking about hit that uh, personal color is probably going to play the next type of cap um, person, I guess, in the MCU, uh, or female. So, I mean, I know online we were thinking, like, okay, f- to me, I th- I'm thinking Falcon is yeah. going to you know, be in that role because, you know, that's what he does in the comics. He takes, right. you know, he takes the, the mantle. Oh, Anthony Mackie would be so pissed if it wasn't him. Oh, <laughs> he was like, I've been in sidekick kissing this dude tail right. for the entire time. And then, you the know. Comic books actually have it. it and, and yes, yeah. It was like, it was. more is Captain America. What the heck is this crap? <laughs> yeah, so definitely, I think he's probably the first in line. Um, I was thinking, like, when people were saying a female Captain America, I was thinking, like, maybe they mean, like, Captain Marvel's going to take more of that mantle. Mm-hmm. Like, she's going to be the leader. Uh-huh. Since that's what she's kind of been doing all this time. Is, you know, she's a captain. Like him, and she's been serving the galaxy. Mm-hmm. So, I'm assuming that would be her. But what, who, who other, what other people do you, you think could take on that role? I mean, as far as it be, they said he could be a black dude. I mean, it could be a person of color or a woman. Mm-hmm. You know how Marvel does. Like, just because something could be. Oh, it could be. It could be. It's going to be Sebastian Stan. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Okay, so for me, I'm very divided. I would love to see Anthony Mackie pick up the role. But kind of like in the comic books, I don't see a reason why Anthony Mackie should be Captain America. Mm-hmm. Only because he doesn't have any powers of his own. Like, that's, that was the problem to me. Like, when Captain, when, when um, Falcon, Sam, uh, wrote, what's his name? Sam Wilson Sam became Wilson. Captain America. Well, he doesn't have, he's got wings and stuff, but he doesn't have the uh, super soldier serum in him. Mm-hmm. So what is it about him that makes him special, like to be able to throw the shield and all that type of stuff? Like if they found a way to give well, him the, the soldier silver as well, then that makes sense. It makes sense mm-hmm. for Bucky to be that because he's got enhancements and all that type of stuff. So he's on par with mm-hmm. Captain America. I would love for that uh, Captain America mm-hmm. to be black. That, that's cool. But if you're going to... So don't but don't ha- set him up for failure. Serum. He don't, has the serum. Yeah, well. Don't set him up for failure. Don't put my boy out there and then he doesn't have the serum. <laughs> All right, this is kind of the way I was thinking that they would bring him in because I don't think he necessarily needs to like to have all the powers to be the man. Like he's Falcon, he goes in there and fights people just like Captain fights people. Mm-hmm. He might fly around. I think he'll he'll use his tech more mm-hmm. like he does you know, in the comics and on the shows. Mm-hmm. But I think they're not gonna like single him out like we're gonna have a trilogy now of this Captain America. I think like when we look in the MCU, he's the person that is going to be taking that mantle. Like he's like. I mean, like, to me, 
Black Widow and Hawkeye don't really have powers, but they can handle themselves against aliens, foes all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think he seems to be pretty pretty skilled, at least with his his tech and stuff to take people out. Right. You know, so I I don't I, I think and then it's a movie, so they can always change things. They always underpower or overpower people all the time. Like, I know he came in and kicked the old girl like, like halfway across the train station mm -hmm. on uh he does, Infinity Falcon War. does not get enough credit yeah. for what he did in he, Infinity War. He was coming it was like, all over Captain the place. America, bro, he just stood he caught the he caught he the shield. He caught the shield. It's like dude come in, America. kicks him, put the guns out on right. him like to me, dude, dude showed that he can take it, take it, take it, you know, hold his own. Mm -hmm. So I, I would like to see what they do. I don't think they're gonna go like I'm gonna do a, a whole movie. He's just gonna be a part of the Avengers side. Mm -hmm. Like when you see Cap, or when you see that that uh, those colors, mm -hmm. he'll be the person that's you know rocking them to me. Mm -hmm. um, well, you got anybody else that you were thinking that uh, I guess could be the next pillars of the. Uh, um, on the next part of Marvel, I mean, I know Spider Man. Spider Man, I oh, heard is yeah. You're gonna have Spider Man. It's gonna be Spider. The Avengers will now be Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Ant Man, and Wasp. Think so? Why not? I mean, they're all they're all success. Every single one of them is a very successful uh, franchise. What about Thor? You think you don't think Thor is still gonna be a big part? I don't know. That's a good question. I guess I think Thor. I think he'll disappear for a little while. I think Until that. they sign a new contract or something, and then he Maybe just like so. reappears. I don't know because you know it's a lot to think about because Ragnarok was so good. Like yeah. probably your boy Hemsworth is like, all right, I'm going to do this last one, <laughs> and then I'm done with this, you know. But then forsooth, you know, this movie was good. I made a lot of money, so I'm gonna be back. <laughs> so it kind of throws a wrench in the in the thing. So maybe they'll have. Thor would be on the team as well. I mean, he could be on the team. But they come into some some of the big thing. I mean, I know they got they still got Fantastic Four. They still got X Men that they're going to be introducing. They have a lot of other characters in Marvel um, that they can have. It's yeah. just kind of it's kind of wonders like who's going to be the like the main focus because you have Iron Man and and Cap like basically the pillars right. of it. So without them too, because I don't know if if Robert Downey he might guest star in some things, mm, yeah. but I think he's definitely he's not making any more movies after this. Right. It's been two, what to eleven years. Ten years, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah ten well, years. about ten, eleven. Uh -huh. It's almost eleven because next one's almost out. So, so that's a lot. I'm ready to for them to go ahead and transition to the X Men. Let's go ahead and get that in. I mean, don't rush it. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. Go ahead and finish what you're doing. How would you even? Do but that? let's go ahead and, and get the X Men on in there. I think they, I think they have the perfect opportunity to do that with everything that's happening with the gems mm -hmm. in the in the in the uh, like the time stone mm -hmm. and the power stone and all that type of stuff. Because with mm -hmm. the power stone. And the reality stone, you could use those in order to change people to make them mutants. And the time stone will allow that energy to go back through mm -hmm. time. So therefore, you could introduce characters like Wolverine because you can say now they've always been there when they weren't before, but because of the time stone, you you fix it. Kind of like the whole Flashpoint thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can see that. I think also, also with that, they're probably going to, I think, probably bring in a lot of new characters, kind of like, they're going to probably explore more of the space base mm -hmm. type of people. I know I heard, like, Internals, uh, they have a movie mm -hmm. that's looking down the picture. They're going to start exploring other people, other places outside of Earth, mm -hmm. so they can kind of expand their stories and, you know, kind of jump like the comics are. There's, like, so many different stories in the comics, mm -hmm. and everything always depending on Earth. It's a lot of the places. Right. So, I think... I, I don't know. I'm I'm hopeful and I'm excited, but I'm also a little nervous because mm -hmm. the first three phases have been so good. It's right. like, oh man, I I like when it first started. Like I was what twenty, mm -hmm. you know, I was just <laughs> getting really on my own. It was like, oh my gosh, I'm twenty years old and we have we have cartoon, we have comic book movies mm -hmm. and they're good. <laughs> it's not just Batman. It's <laughs> right. like it's actually good comic book, and we have Iron Man and everything else is going in there. So kind of seeing all this happen, like all the stuff that happened in my own life, mm -hmm. getting married, having kids, and like getting ready for the next part of that. It's like I'm a little nervous. Please don't be bad. Don't don't be bad. Like please still make good movies. So but I trust I, Kevin. I bet you trust Kevin. As long as, as, long as he's there. See, don't Kevin say that. Just stop there. saying it because something might happen to Kevin now. You just jinx him. So leave Kevin alone. <laughs> Marvel's gonna be fine until it's not, and then that would just be and then that would just be a part DC, of our lives. That then was DC there. will rule the. No, no, no. <laughs> it just, it never happened. We'll have their fifteenth reboot. So, what do you guys think is gonna happen in season four? Like, do you see the uh, phase four? Excuse me, Get it right. plasma. 
Um, what do you see happening in, in Phase 4? Are the X-Men coming in? The Fantastic Four? Who are the new Avengers? Are the uh, some of the old Avengers, like gonna, are they going to retire? Like, maybe they won't get killed off, but maybe they will just kind of fade away for a little while. You know, what's going to happen? What are your thoughts? Let us know. All right? So, anyway, that's been our show, guys. Um, make sure this video, of course, will go up on YouTube. So, when you're there. So, hey, guys, make sure you check us out on YouTube. We've done about... God, over 50 videos yeah, at this yeah, point. We've talked them. about everything, man. Black Panther. We've talked about Mission Impossible. We Infinity talked about War. Infinity War. The Pre uh, the Predator. Uh, the Hate Quiet You Give. Yeah. First Man. Tons. Tons. Yeah. Almost every movie that you've seen this year, other than, what was that movie with um, Lady Gaga? But it, Star oh, is Born? Star is born. Yeah, yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't do that. that one. So, we, we heard that we should do that, but no, we're not going to do that. We did? I didn't hear that. Okay. People say it. People say it. People, Uber, Uber passengers. Uber, Uber, <laughs> Ubers. <laughs> but we're not going to have a chance to do that one. Next week, we have uh, Harry Potter, though, don't we? Harry, oh, you talking about the... Uh, the prequel. Yeah. What are they... What are they what's, what's the title to that one? We're not going to tell you guys. It's so hard to say. <laughs> it's like <laughs> some long title. I was like, okay, yeah, that's what we're going to watch. <laughs> and yes, D, Black Panther is still number one. Number Absolutely. one? Absolutely. I did say Mission Impossible was number one earlier this year, and it still is really good, but Mission Impossible can't pass the watch it at home test. Yeah, you have you to watch have it like at a home. theater yeah. type of setting with right. that, so you feel everything with Mission Impossible exactly. really enjoy it as much. Yeah, exactly. Um, In the theaters, it will be number one, but at home, it's just, it, it's, it goes down significantly. Black Panther, you can just throw that on Netflix, man. You end up <laughs> like, oh, Joe, he just threw the old dude over the waterfall, and it got real. Right. <laughs> I'm your king. <laughs> right. Like exactly. that part is like unstoppable. It's like, <laughs> I'm your king now. <laughs> so yeah. make sure you, uh, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you look down at here. I'm pointing down. Look down. Look, no, look. look. There you go. Look down. See it? That's the description. You can see all of our other videos there. Make sure to give us a like. And of course, Charlie, what they have to do? Subscribe to survive. And of or course, die. Or die. Of course, this is color commentary. Where we give you views from the Halloween side. Okay, this is, at some point we have the the the, the graphics are going to come in. Yeah, and, they're going to come and, in. Right, and make this kind of come back to life. Some, uh, if I can figure out which way is the front. And, which way is the front? No, it's not. There it is. There's the front. Okay, so this is going to like the graphics are going to come in and make this. Pumpkin, come back. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs>